Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Challenge Season 2. Uh, so far, uh, we collected all the diamonds, the iron, and the gold. And between last episode and this one, I have uh, created enough bookshelves so we can uh, set up ourselves an enchanting area. So let's do that uh, real quick. Um, uh, probably not here in the corner. We lose a few uh, planks in the process, but we can. Uh, we have the wood, so it's not a big deal. As long as we are not losing the books, uh, which. have worked hard. Um, in getting ready. Then we also need an anvil. I need a bit of iron for that. And there we have it. Let's put the rest back. We will place this one here and then we shall see if we get something good right at the back. Um, we want to have a look at our gear on breaking, yes, but uh, then you could get um, any of the uh, uh, protection um, and I actually want uh, protection for not fire protection protect a uh, projectile uh, protection protection uh, or anything else um, what do we get on the pick? Silk touch. Yeah, I will take that. I need a bit of uh, lapis. Um. Nice and efficiency four, so uh, this should be good. So then let's see if we roll again. Sharpness three. Uh, I will need sharpness uh, five. Um, we don't need that. Uh, seats so let's see still on breaking thorns fire protection um, aqua affinity um, so far no good. Um, what else do we need? We need a bow. So for that we need these strings and probably we can uh, fish out a bow that has a few enchantments. Power 4 um, will need power 5 and uh, an infinity so 
there's still a bit more work to be done, but um, I will do a bit more farming and then we can head back into the village for some trading. Um, should have the sword on me and then escape from the creeper and sleep that was a bit close I stayed up too late. Um, let's see. Are there any spiders around? Could do is a bit string. Apparently not. Uh, but as I said, uh, more more farming. I've been fishing here, but. I am on my last fishing rods. I don't have any more string. So, well, maybe we have to go spider hunting or figure something else out. But as you can see, I have myself an enchanted uh, diamond helmet. And I was also busy uh, otherwise um, uh, gearing up a bit, uh, have worked on a pick with silk touch, also got efficiency on that, which is nice. Then I have a flame bow with power four. Uh, I have two books, uh, not really useful. Fish out another bow, uh, which is useless but did not manage to get any fishing rods from our fishing so I guess uh, we will uh, have a look at what we have in here and head over to the to the village to do a bit of uh, emerald trading um, that should also get us a bit more uh, XP uh, because I think uh, I can make myself uh, a pair of uh, shoes uh, that have protection for. So, take this with us, potatoes. And then let's see what we get. They're all standing around here, um, but we can trade with them nevertheless. And that should level up. Yes. Do you have by any chance? No, you don't have a pumpkin trade, which is disappointing. Fisherman. Um, you do not have any useful uh, traits just yet. The librarian, I think, has a paper trait. Let's, let's take that. That way it is locked. Still have a few leather workers. So uh, there is our cleric. Um, I don't have enough rotten fish, but let's get a bit of redstone, which we don't need, and then we shall have a sleep. 
I'm back here in the village uh, trying to get a few more uh, decent uh, trades. So we have here another farmer with potatoes and carrots. So hopefully we get a pumpkin on the... No, of course not. Why would we? Um, and this is our librarian. And maybe some of our uh, inhabitants here have died. So would not be good. Um, let's try leveling you up. I have no more salmon, so that will have to do. Um, then we can have another go uh, with the with the cleric. I also found some more cauldrons uh, that had to be uh, removed. Um, so that we get uh, villagers that have traits that are actually useful for my situation. And the cleric is probably over there. Okay, that's the redstone. What do you have? Gold and uh, lapis for emeralds. So I think it's back to uh, to farming, uh, so that we can get more stuff. And there is another cauldron. Should free one more villager up and we can try to make him another farmer. This one bit closer. As we are not that interested in uh, breeding uh, these villagers. We can actually move the uh, composter away from from their uh, uh, fields uh, so that they do not actually uh, collect the farming goods uh, in order to reproduce themselves but it's more farming so we can get further ahead and hopefully then can also um, get more fish more fishing rod and all the good stuff we have a problem as you can see over there and i thought Oh, let's just ignore them. But then a second group popped up over there. So I think we shall do something about them. Um, we have to make sure that we do not kill the uh, banner guy.
and so that we do not die. Okay, let's lead them away a bit. Ouch, that hurt. We shall try again. Taking quite a beating. Okay, so we only need to fix this one and done. So half the problem is solved. And let's deal with the uh, other half. Okay, two more done. Then I got the last one. Did you go? And dealt with. But as you can see, I'm still farming. So um, I guess this will still go a while on. However, I managed to get uh, a few ender pearls already. Uh, but until we have the enchantments that we need, um, that may still take a while. And probably uh, I will not. Um, uh, have the same uh, beefed up uh, enchantments as uh, I did for the no sleep challenge uh, because I think maybe it's a bit uh, uh, overpowered. We need a good sword, we need a good, um, a good armor. Um, we need a good bow, uh, but we do not have to uh, uh, to go overboard, um, as all good weapons um, will help uh, in the way that the fight is over more quickly. But I think the biggest danger. Uh, against the uh, ender dragon is uh, fall damage 
So we shall make sure that we have Feather Falling 4 for our boots. That's a must. And probably most of the rest is uh, optional. So I will do some more farming and I also uh, bought a really expensive fishing rod for eight emeralds from the fisherman so at least now i can do some more fishing um, because i need a bit more xp to do the uh, enchanting there as you can see i'm fully armored up in diamonds which means uh, we have the enchantments on all the pieces protection 4 also respiration equa affinity uh, and unbreaking great helmet uh, chest plate only protection 4 the leggings i only manage protection 3 but i guess uh, that's good enough uh, then on the boots, unbreaking protection 4, we're lacking the feather falling. The sword has looting 3, which was great for collecting all the leather for the books. Uh, and uh, sharpness 3, which I guess will do. Then the bow I had, I combined with one that uh, I fished out. So that's where the curse of vanishing comes from but that's not really an issue because if we die game is over and it does not really matter if the bow is around afterwards i also fished out a perfect fishing rod also has curse of vanishing but does not really matter as for the feather falling up to this point i had two uh, strategies one was after each enchantment uh, done in the enchantment table I checked the boots if I can get Phantom Falling 4 on it um, or not and as you can see uh, up to this point I did not so it's up to uh, strategy 2 which means we are going out finding another village uh, and get ourselves a librarian that can give us a feather falling four book but this will have to wait for next time so hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you then goodbye